Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today. Minus 3 to the x equal to 3, of course this is not like a common exponential equation, we prefer like 2 to the x equal to 3, 10 to the x equal to 3, like we learned this at school, but right here we have minus 3 to the x. This is really tricky and I hope you will enjoy my explanation to this really interesting, interesting problem. Let's start with this step. For example, we don't have our parentheses. So if we don't have parentheses, so we will have like minus 3 to the x equal to 3 from here multiplying by minus 1 so 3 to the x equal to equal to minus 3 and if we draw a graph real quick right here so on the left hand side this is our exponential equation right here 3 to the x this is growing increasing exponential equation and minus 3 this is a constant right here so this is 3 to the x and this is a constant minus 3 this is our 0 x x and y so as you can see, no point of intersection. This, this, this line does not intersect with this zero, but right here we have minus three, so no point of intersection right here it does not intersect with every of these lines. So no real solution. But this is a special case when we don't have parentheses. But in our case, we have parentheses minus three to the x, so we need to work with this minus three to the x. So we have our case minus three all raised to the power x equal to equal to 3 okay okay so this is our special case when a to the power y for example equal to equal to x yeah so this is the same as right here but i write it as variables yeah a to the power y equal to x minus 3 to the x equal to 3 yeah so this is our case as exponential equation so we can easily write it as log yeah so we can easily write it as log because we all know this is like a main log log rule right here so log base of a right here x equal to equal to y so according to log we can rewrite this expression and moreover this one as a log right here okay so we hope you understand this step and right now if you don't know about these variables i write it as a number that we have right here so we can write it as log so log base of minus 3 right here right here 3 equal to x so according to log we can rewrite this expression in this in this way as a log and i hope you understand this step yeah so this expression we write as as log okay Okay, but why write it as a log? Because if you know a little bit about log, we, know, we need to know three main steps right here. So the first step that our base or our A need to be positive, yeah? And let's look to our base. Where is our base? Our base is right here. So our base is negative one. So this rule does not work in our case. Second rule, if you're talking about log, base don't need to be equal to one right here. Minus three don't, is not equal to one, which is really great. The third step, x is positive one, okay? So x is positive one, of course, x can be positive one, this is, is, this is great. Okay, so this is our three steps right here. Yeah, this is our three steps right here. But these three steps need to be work, need works together. So all three steps need works. But right here, one does not work. So this first step does not work. So our log does not have no real, no real roots, okay? If, for example, base is like positive one, this is really great, real roots real quick, our x, but right here, x, a is, is positive, need to be positive, right here, minus three, which is not good for us, so no real roots. So this is explanation about why we don't have real roots right here. Okay, but what about complex roots? This is really interesting to find our complex roots right here, okay? So let, let's find our complex roots. I hope you will enjoy this step with complex roots. Okay. So we have this question, so minus three to the power x equal to three. We all know from complex number that i square equal to minus one. And this minus we have right here. So we can easily write this minus three as, as minus three, or not like minus three, as three times i square all raised to the power x equal to three, okay? This is equal to minus one, so all the same. But if you know a little bit about power rules, so we need to raise i square by this x and 3 to the power x, okay? So we have like 3 to the power x times e to the power 2x equal to 3, okay? And right now we have this complex variable, so this is really great because we, we need to find our complex roots. Okay, right now, 
lock on both sides only case because we have like powers right here so we need to take lock so lock on the left hand side we have this expression 3 to the power x times e to the power 2x equal to log log 3 so log we need to apply on both sides right now log of a product this is the sum of two logs yeah we all know this property from school so if log a times b this is log a plus log b yeah so we have a product so product is a sum and of course if we have a division this is a subtraction yeah if you're talking about log okay so we have like log 3 to the x plus log i to the power 2x okay equal to log log 3 this is really interesting cases with with this logs and i hope you you enjoy this step okay log 3 to the x we go back right here maybe ah, we don't have this rule but we all know this rule x goes right here in the beginning 2x goes right here jump right here in the beginning so we have x log 3 which is really great because log 3 is a constant plus right here 2x times log i so we have this imaginary value equal to log log 3 okay how can we find our x from here okay x right here as a common and x right here as a common let's factor it or let's write it behind this parentheses so inside it parentheses log 3 plus 2 log i 2 log i equal to log log 3 okay then this is a constant this is a constant like uh, but imaginary but doesn't matter this is a constant and this is a constant so constant 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 only our x that we need to find so let's divide both sides by this expression in parentheses so x equal to log 3 over log 3 plus 2 log i this is our solution to this problem if you're talking about complex numbers Okay, let's go back a little bit, maybe find interesting information for us. So, no real roots if we don't have parentheses, no real roots if you're talking about log. I proved this right here that we don't have this solution because base is not like a positive one. Right here, complex approach for me, I, I, I solve it like that. So, I bring this imaginary value, we, we need this major value because if we go with minus 3, we don't have this imaginary element, i. Uh, but we don't we need this uh, we need this element okay this is my explanation to this problem definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn higher mathematics interesting all i have a lot of like maybe 200 videos about olympiad exams about problems and i hope you enjoy my content i give my best to make you content every day so if it's not hard to you leave a like behind the below the video i really appreciate it and it's really great support from you Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.